Hello water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here with me. Today we're going to be looking at who has their eye on you. So we'll see who has a cheeky little crush on you water signs. We'll see what we can learn about this person and how they're coming up in the cards. So please keep an open mind and an open heart with these readings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and join the membership option for exclusive content otherwise let's jump in and see what the signs who's got their eye on you how is this person presenting themselves okay they're coming up as the priestess of strength so june 10th to july 7th so potentially looking at a Gemini or a Cancer here. Someone with a very strong personality is coming forward. So straight away, when I see that Priestess of Strength, I do think Leo energy as well because of the Rider weight deck. Um, so it can be a Leo. It's, it's a dominant person, like it's an alpha male or an alpha female. So this is a very attractive person, okay? It's a person who's noticed by a lot of other people. They have a lot of admirers themselves. They've grown up to be very strong, so they've gone through something in their life that has made them a tough character, so to speak. Um, I feel like they're still humble. The green cloak, they're humble. On the exterior, she's got this orange cloak, which shows they're all fire. Okay, they give off this lust, this sexuality, so they're very alluring. Um, but underneath it all, there's a sweetness and there's a humbleness to them. And you wouldn't sort of expect it. This is like the person that's coming forward here is like they're the unapproachable one you'd see out. And you wouldn't think to approach them because they seem intimidating. But underneath it all, they're actually quite um, they're actually quite humble and quite sweet. Okay, you may know this person through an area of strength. So like the gym, um, your psych psychology office, spiritual classes, yoga classes, anything that entails strength of mind, body, soul is potentially where you know this person maybe um they could be older because it's the oak tree and the oak is a, a tree of age and wisdom so they're very bright but possibly there's quite a substantial age gap between you and this person so i'm picking up an older vibe with gemini or cancer qualities because of those dates um they're a lover of nature so they're the outdoorsy type but I also feel like they're quite a traditionalist. Tradition is very important to this person. Um, maybe because of their culture, their upbringing. You know, they could be a fanatic over Christmas, for example. Um, they like to stick to the rules that we need to get married and then buy a house and then have kids. Like they're a traditionalist and they like to stick to, to what works type thing. Okay, so coming up a bit of Aries energy, maybe we've got Piscean influence. Um, this person is like with the fool, they're a little bit all over the place, which makes me think they don't really have their stuff sorted. So you might have met them on travels. Either they were living in your country, city, state, or they are, or you were living in theirs. Something about maybe like a long distance connection here. Um, so they've, they've traveled a lot. Or they're not really settled in one place. They move around a lot. They've been an expat. They've been in and out of countries and cities. They like to be on the move, okay? Um, but strong Piscean influence with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups makes me feel like you guys have an emotional history or love existed at one time or another between the both of you. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a person you have had a relationship with before. So it may be an ex. Um, because an attachment, quite a strong attachment existed between you and this person, okay? It could even be the one who you are with now and they're just crazy about you. These cards could also indicate there's someone quite creative. Maybe they write books, they take photos, they're quite artsy, um, they've got their own, um, you know, online personality. They have a creative pursuit that they do for work, okay? I don't think it's someone you've met through work because there's, so far, these cards wouldn't indicate that. I feel like you might have connected on travels or through a place of strength somehow. Um, but this person is, is possibly in love. It may be from a distance, but they're in love with you. There's love that exists here. The fool is like they're head over heels or they're a fool in love and they don't really know what to do with this. 
with these feelings. It's like it's overwhelming them. They don't really know what's the best course of action right now. Oh, it's cute. Okay. I feel like they're going through some things now, maybe. Okay, Knight of Cups has come up twice, Two of Pentacles. This person may be in a different relationship right now, but that relationship is coming with its challenges. Ten of Wands at the Seven of Wands. This is a hard worker, so this is a person who likes to pull up their sleeves and get into things. I feel like this is a person that also has a lot of pressure on them. A, a pressured job, a lot of pressure from family to be traditional, pressure from society. It's almost like this person bears the weight of the world on their shoulders. They might even be quite anxious. They might have multiple jobs or multiple income streams. You may work with this person, but it's almost like they've got something else. They could be mixed in nationality or heritage as well. They could work with airlines, tourism, hospitality, a place where they meet new and exotic people or a place where they visit new and exotic environments. The Knight of Cups tells me that this person is quite emotional. Okay, when they fall, they fall hard. Um, when they fall, they fall deep. So this is someone who wants love and who wants romance. Um, it is maybe someone who has had turbulence in their life when they've grown up and maybe they, those needs weren't met for them. Um, so it is someone who's actively looking for a romantic connection. Um, or they could already be in one but still have eyes for you, water signs. Okay, they have been kind to you. Knight of Cups have come up twice and it's a kindness. So I feel like this person has done something very kind or sweet or thoughtful for you in the past. Um, you know, maybe they grab you coffee at work every morning. Um, maybe they offer you to give you a lift. Um, maybe they offer to sign you up for classes. There's something kind that they go out of their way to do, doing it for you because there's feelings. I don't think they would just do it for anyone. They do it for you because feelings exist for this person. Okay, could be someone who's retired or semi-retired. Someone quite successful is coming up. But there's an independent energy to them, so they like to do things on their own. You'd be pleasantly surprised. It might take you by surprise. Who this person actually is so maybe sit with these details here um water signs and see if you can figure out who this person is that has these eyes for you romantically um, but i will leave your reading there so thank you again everyone for joining liking sharing and of course signing up to membership it really does mean a lot i do hope to be in touch very soon so i'm um, sending you lots of love and angel blessings and until next time bye for now